perfect bright sunny day for an outdoor excursion aur aaj hamara cruise malta mein stop over le raha tha where you just don't get to see art but where you get to live art valletta is the capital of malta and this is one of the first planned city of europe it has a beautiful baroque architecture which was built in early 16th century and i can see art all around me i went to valletta to see the Maltese capital the first thing i did was to visit the beautiful st john's cathedral for any art lover st john's cathedral is a must visit isliye maine apni journey ki shuruaat ki is cathedral se these are proud of their city the way it's built makes it so pretty St John's Cathedral is one of the most beautiful cathedral I've ever seen. This was built in 1500 and all this carving what you see here this is all been carved out of stone and it is the most stunning work I've ever seen. church dedicated to St John the Baptist St John the Baptist is the patron saint of the sovereign military order of St John of Jerusalem Rhodes and Malta today popularly known as the Knights of Malta but really and truly they are not the Knights of Malta they are known as the Knights of Malta because Malta was the last country over which they ruled before Malta was taken over by the French What you see up there is not fresco and it is not stucco but it is oil directly on the stone. Oh so this is all oil painting oil. directly on That's the stone. Right, directly on the stone. Ye painting is tarike se ki gayi hai ki ye statue lagta hai lekin ye statue nahi hai. Ye actually painting hai but the painter painted in such manner that it looks like a statue. हमारी गाइड ने हमें बताया दैट टू स्पैनिश ब्रदर्स हैड कमिशन एन इटालियन नाइट हु इन टर्न कमिशन अ स्कल्प्टर एन अ गिल्डर एंड आफ्टर 5 इयर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क दे कार्व्ड आउट दिस स्टनिंग कैथेड्रल history comes alive in valletta and that's why i visited the presidential palace because it is one of the most valuable historic monuments of european culture
So this is the presidential palace of Malta and it's also the official seat of parliament. So this is the main hall and I can see all these paintings which depicts the moral like virtue, Victoria, charitas, patience. Malta is celebrating 50 years of independence and 10 years of being part of EU, European Union. And that's why you can see they have a beautiful flower festival called the Green Valletta Festival. Valletta is a world heritage site and a very charming city. There is plenty to see and do here to suit all taste. One of the things you must try when you are in Malta is the ricotta cannoli, um, which is a little baked pastry and it's filled with ricotta cheese and it is a must to try out. So this is the traditional place where I'm going to try that. So this is a typical Maltese dish. You have to try out this. It's it's a pastry filled with fresh ricotta cheese. Mmm, nice. I went to Valletta to see the Maltese capital. The first thing I did was to visit. No doubt, Valletta is a world heritage site. Hai, but yaha life ko jeene ka jazba ek tam naya hai. The city has such great energy and spirit all around. And with this thought, I returned to my cruise to try my luck in the casino. makes it so pretty. was great fun. Though I did not get rich in cash, but I was far more rich in knowledge and experience. Or is spirit ke saath, main apni next stop Amalfi ka intezar kar rahi thi. Subscribe my YouTube channel Travel with Dipti Bhatnagar and follow me on Twitter and Facebook.